Band of Thieves 1, Star Guardian Hard, and Celestial Blessing, guys. Don't mind if I do. Seriously, don't mind if I do. Wow, what a good starter. Look at this starter, man. Wow, guys. It is a Clown Fiesta game, by the way. It is a little bit of a... Du uh, not a duelist. It's a, it's a spatula game. Now, I'm thinking about the duelist option here. I'm really thinking about it. Thinking about the duelist option. I mean, it just makes sense, right? Is anybody else in a duelist position? Renegade renegade Emblem and the Renegade Heart. Oh, oh man, that's a GG, guys. They're gonna have six Renegade instantly. Okay, you know what, man? That's a duelist. That's a duelist game if I've ever seen one. No one's playing duelist Emblem. And I'm just gonna send it for a very aggressive early game because I will die to the Renegade guys late game. They are gonna be too strong. They're gonna be able to get six Renegade without Leona. That is, that is very scary. So we'll just play the Duelist here. We'll just play Duelist Laser Core. Again, everybody started with a... with a... Spachula. He takes the heart. The heart heart. Heart heart. Very risky, in my opinion. Because he doesn't have any tears. He's obviously going for a heart Zoe with six heart or whatever. Because he gets the hard heart and can craft the heart emblem, but he needs three tiers: a blue buff and the tier for the heart emblem. So that is not a that is not a small feat. These guys are in such a good position, man. I'm actually disgusted. These renegade guys. Ah, uh, renegade heart is probably the best thing in special star games. I can't think of anything else. Uh, even though Viego is kind of a joke right now, he got nerfed a lot. It's still insane. I think it's absolutely insane. Has to be insane. Yo, Omega Oplamit. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. Welcome to Shuriken as well. Much appreciated. Thank you very much for your support. Thank you, thank you. Save Rod for Locket. Yep, 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 yep. That's as, as soon as I saw the Rod, it's a Locket. So uh, the Duelist Comp, if you guys don't know, it's one of the meta comps. It's pretty much considered to be just as strong as uh, Brawler oftentimes. And what you do is you just go 8 Duelist. And you just stack lockets. See, now I could get jabated here, right? And I could go for a beautiful underground game. But then I don't have laser core. And laser core is so much better. So it is truly not worth. So what we do is we just level up. And we just play another duelist, no? We just play another duelist. Hope she does some damage. I want to level up. I want to push my advantage. I feel like I'm really strong here. Duelist is very strong early. Laser core very strong early. So we just want to push our advantage. We will not put in underground. Because then we would start losing. The win streak is more worth than the underground cash out. That is for sure. And also we save HP. Vigo is still good as a secondary carry. Yeah. Camille primary 3 star. Then stably go 7 and 8. And hit Vigo 2 on the side. Oh yeah for sure for sure. But um... Viego is, uh, again, Viego, you could, if you have the Renegade emblem, you're probably not going to go for a Camille 3 oftentimes. You will just go for a Viego carry, and if you have 6 Renegade, it is still very powerful. That's just so much damage. And the other guy already has an Ionic Spark as well, so it's going to be a little bit rough. But their early game will be weak, so hopefully I can capitalize on that. Now the question is, do we go for the Locket immediately? Makes sense. But I'm last pick. We'll see if we get. Also, we need some uh, Z items. Alright, I'll go for the locket. Easy locket. Eight duelist. So much power. And we have the Celestial Blessing. So they can heal a little bit as well. Should be chill. Should be cozy. Samira game. This is not a Samira game, sir. This is not a Samira game. Nice. Two, two star. Get the locket. Boom. We are chilling, honestly. Don't we do this? Oh, hell yeah, we do this, man. Hell yeah. Do we sell this ash? Probably not. I think we'll just win here. Let's scout these guys. Oh, really? You're gonna go into Duelist after the fact that I already went Duelist instantly. Oh, really, man? You're gonna, you're gonna play that game, huh? Oh, well, we can play that game, man. We can both go 7 and 8. I don't care. 
Mr. Dumbo, Mr. Mr. Mole, Mole Andy man. It's okay, man. It's okay. But don't worry about it, man. Hopefully, uh, we. I mean, we have Laser Core. He doesn't, I think. So, it'll be fine. If I level up here and put another Duelist for this guy, I think I can't lose. And I will be able to level up because I make 10 here. The win streak is enough to make me level up here. So, we're chilling. Yep. This guy has. Um, this guy has the preparation, which is really strong with the Duelist emblem. Oh, wow. Unfortunately, we cannot use her. But that is a crazy, crazy thing to get. I'm gonna just frontline her. I'm just gonna put him here, right? He's trying to see whether he's gonna beat me. He doesn't have four Duelist. I'm chilling. Four Renegade. Four Renegade as well. Alrighty, guys. Should be an easy victory. Hopefully, we can break somebody's Mr. 100. No, but we can uh, take a lot of dam- uh, We can deal a lot of damage to this guy. So, that is very good. Did he level to 6 as well? Or did he save his economy? He saved his economy. Very greedy, but uh, I guess he determined he can't beat me anyway. Again, guys. 4 Duelist and 3 Laser Core. Extremely powerful early game. So, nothing too surprising that he doesn't want to fight us on our turf. It is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, you will get timed out, man. I'm sorry, man. You are half of more than half of your messages were in a different language. Just because both of us speak that language, Mr. Seljak, uh, think about it. Everybody else in the chat doesn't speak that language. So get the hint. You posted like five messages. I responded to one of them, which was in English, and the other ones I ignored. Maybe take the hint, boy. Very simple, man. Common sense. Um, we will buy this, I guess. But I think I'm just chilling, man. This is also insane. Double Ribbon. Kind of want to buy everything. But I want to make Econ. We'll see what happens. We shall see what happens. Ooh, that's good. That's good. Ooh, that's okay. That's okay. That's good. Actually, both good. Sword, bow, and I get uh, Edge of Night and Hurricane. I guess I won't buy anything then. Feels bad, man. Yeah, I won't buy anything. Buy two, don't care. Mm -hmm. We should be able to win this fight. Again, we need to keep these items, I think. I, 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 I mean, Gargoyles is not bad. But I think we have to keep these items now. Because otherwise, we just have tank items. And not, not a single damage item, so... We gotta do, we gotta, we gotta just chill. We gotta just chill. That being said, I can give him armor. And I can give her this. Yeah. And now the emblem is coming up. Could be a hero augment. If it is a hero augment, it's a very low chance, like a 5% chance to be a 4 cost hero augment. If it is one. The highest chance is 2 or 3 cost though. 3 cost, I have Duelist in. I have Laser Core in. Could be a Yasuo augment. Yasuo would actually be bad. I would just take the Lifesteal augment. Itemize him a little bit. Make him tank. Maybe even 3 star him. Would I 3 star him? It's not bad. The issue I have is, it's gonna keep me locked in at level 6 for a long time. Ooh, hopefully no hero augment. Ah, it is a hero augment. Mm -hmm. And we got maximally unlucky because we have to reroll this. Uh, I have four duelists, three laser core, and it gives me the two brawler. We got maximally lucky. That is the best augment in the game. Let's go. That is by far the best augment I could have gotten right here. So that is a GG, guys. Don't worry about it. Uh, we have to pick up this vein. Usually I would leave her on the floor. But now we can get an edge of night. And that is gonna go on, on, I guess her, kinda weird, keep it a stack with you, kinda weird. Uh, I guess I'll just give it to him, he gets more attack speed, it's fine. Edge of Night on a frontliner, always weird, but I think it's fine. Nice, we got the best one. Let's go. This is the best augment I could have gotten. It gives me the Edge of Night, 
and the units with Edge, Edge of Night get 35% bonus attack speed, which allows them to stack up the Duelist bonus quicker, which is very powerful. He gets into the Knight as well. But we still beat him. That is really good. Can I sell two things here? No, I have to buy this anyway, and then might as well buy this, and then might as well buy this. Full win streak. This guy's still on a full win streak, still chilling. Really strong as well. Did not get into the night. Get, did get vitality of the ox, though, which is also nice. Heals. The, the enemies heal 2% per uh, of their max health per attack. Wow. Beware. Well, now I am not worried about rolling or losing or anything here. We are just chilling. We're just cruising to level 7 here. And hopefully we're cruising with a full win streak. I am really strong. I am way stronger than him. Guaranteed. I wish I had this on this guy. Oh well, we learn. Should have put it on him, for sure. Because he was 2-star, but honestly, if it was a 2-star Ash, not hitting 2-star Ash up until now, I guess I made the right decision, because it's a higher chance that I would have a 2-star Ash than to not have one, right? For sure. So I guess we made the right play. But the uh, Renekton is, uh, he's a, he's a Chad, man. Like, he, he did it. Like, I'm a little bit jealous, you know. He did this. And I, I, as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh, maybe I should have done that as well. Because and Renekton, when he transforms, when he uses his ult, he has on-hit damage, which is quite a bit. What rank are you now? Master 81 LP. Mr. Jolly, what's up? 86 LP? 86 LP. Master 86 LP. We need 114 LP, which is 200 for Grandmaster. If we can do that today, it's a banger. I'm thinking about Titans here. Because I already have one Edge of Night, but I should just go double Edge of Night if I can. That allows for it. It does not allow for it. I think we just go for a Cloak, no? I think we go for a Cloak. I think we go for a cloak, and I'm gonna just lock this in for now, and we're ch we're chilling, right? We are chilling. We will never need this. Just chill. Are we leveling? Does leveling do anything here? Let's think about it. Leveling doesn't do anything. I don't have the most possibility of going six duelist unless I spend a lot of money here and I roll down. But I really feel strong. Like I feel very strong. So we should be fine, hopefully. I didn't hear what Elo did he say he was. Master 86 LP. Masters 4, there's no Masters 4, it's just Master. There's no uh, like Diamond 4, 3, 2. Mm, are we winning this? This guy's really strong now. How's the stupid Kaisa? I think we're losing this, man. What is this tankiness, bro? No damage. Well, 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 well. The mascot synergy is very interesting, isn't it? That is a sad loss. But that's a loss that had to happen at some point. I could have leveled there, but... Okay, now I could go for full duelist. But I don't think it's worth anymore. Yeah... Let's just hope we win and we can sell this Ash. Because this Ash is long overdue to be kicked. Uh, this guy is definitely going to go for Zed as well. Not much else he can go for. So that is going to be... Uh, maybe not. Hold up. Maybe he's just going to play Kai'Sa Duelist Reroll. Because he, do he, he does have this Archangel. Yeah, he has no Zed items. He's not going for Zed. Okay, cool. We're completely uncontested. What server do you play? EU West. That Ezreal comp is quite busted, isn't it? I got first place in my last two games with it. One with Sona carry, the other with Ezreal. I wouldn't say it's busted, but it's definitely a, an A tier comp. And it's super fun to play. So enjoy it, man. And it's not contested often. That's a good one unit loss, isn't it? That's, a, that's amazing. That's amazing. We'll take this. We'll take this. I'm gonna sell like this. I want the full juice. 50 gold. Samira. Samira is very interesting here, but I don't think we need her. Hmm, doesn't, doesn't make sense. So we want another sword, just so we can get, uh... Like, Titans on Zed would be completely fine. 
But I want another Edge of Night just to get the maximum value out of Into the Night. Again, the Edge of Night is basically buffed. It gives 35% attack speed bonus as well. So you want as many of them as possible. Tome? Oh, don't mind if I do, guys. Oh, uh, don't mind if I do, guys. Just don't mind. It's okay, guys. Just don't mind, man. The Duelist Emblem? Don't mind if I do, bro. Oh, even better, Hacker Emblem? Don't, don't mind if I do, guys. Man, just don't mind. I'm just gonna casually win the game real quick. Don't worry about it, man. Oh, I missed the Fiora. That's actually my bad. Okay, I'm looking for Zed, basically, right? Oh, frick. That's not even that bad. I don't need this. Three star vein. What are we thinking? What are we thinking about three star vein? Nothing. A dead ass, right? Nothing. I mean, hacker emblem is insane, bro. Wait, this guy's playing duelist as well, but he's playing this. Nah, he has Zed items though. He's just looking for Zed. He went to duelist as well. I don't need Zack. Zack has no room, especially. Especially if I have the, the girl, right? This is Juani. Recon emblem? Oh, knife's edge. Don't worry about it. Guys, we literally got Exodia, no? I just need to find one Z. So I just need to roll down here. Right, that's pretty good. Nice, man. Okay, so how do we do this? Five duelist. Six duelist. Do this. Do this. Just do this. I'm just gonna go with Titans, man. Holy Giga Chad, bro. <laughs> he did it. One star Z. Yeah, Titans is really good on him, man. Titans is amazing on him. We have three laser core. We could go three hacker. It's not really that bad. But ideally, like, who am I missing, right? I'm missing one duelist. We just need to be level 8, right? We just need to go level 8. And yeah, not, right now we just go level 8. Yeah. Right? Is there any is there any other gameplay I can do here? I'm just missing one Fiora. There's no way he's going 3-star Fiora, right? The Fiora emblem guy or augment guy? Yeah, no, he's not. I should be fine. There's a decent amount of Furas taken, but it's fine. <laughs> Alright, not too bad. I think we're chilling. I'm playing Zoe slash Threats almost every game. It's a really fun comp. It is super fun, yeah. Four hacker at eight for infinite. We can also try that. I'll pick them up. Four hacker is always fun. But I feel like with the Celestial Blessing, I'm already going pretty much infinite, no? This guy is so strong. That's so strong. It's fine. I definitely need to go level 8, huh? Maybe I should ditch... The thing is, the Sejuani is laser core, which is kind of nice. Pretty nice, to be honest. What other item are we missing? Just the, just the damage item with this, I guess. Oh, I could go QSS, no? Wait, I like that. Because I also get the Fiora right now. That's not bad. That is not too bad, man. Seriously. Thing is, can I level already? Oh, wow. Oh, I can? I just sell, I just sell this. I level here. Uh, I feel like it's worth leveling here, man. Because staying at 60 HP for two more fights is really good. 
Yeah, I mean, she doesn't need the shield. Let's go this. A duelist. <clears throat> I have two Zeds. Not too bad. What's up, binge? Sorry for that. I was watching you on YouTube. I didn't know the rules. Again, it's just it's more of a common sense thing, right? But it's okay. Don't worry about it. Just keep that in mind. When I'm when I'm usually ignoring your message, it's probably because you did something. You, you said something stupid. And remember, there's no stupid questions. I never ignore those. But if it's a different language, when everybody else is speaking English, yeah, uh, it's very simple to understand. Okay, guys. So. I could remove two duelists and go for four hacker. Wouldn't be bad at all. Wouldn't be bad, guys. Uh, but guys, I don't know, man. Eight duelists with with the knife's edge. Come on, man. Isn't it eight duelists, man? Because I already have I already have um 15 omnivamp. Here I get 10%, so 25%. Ah, you know, isn't there a thing such as too much lifesteal? What do you think, guys? What do you think? What's up, Wes? What's up? What's up, Eternozo? The only guy who isn't playing Yumi every game is life. Let's go. Okay, that is not true, Fire. But uh, there is plenty of people who don't play Yumi every game. Uh, but I'm one of them. That, that is certain. That is certain. Isn't there a thing as such as too much attack speed? Too much attack speed with Knife's Edge Titans? Ooh, mustard boy. I'm not sure about that one. I don't think there's too much attack speed with uh, with this. Remember, you cannot do too much damage, but you can life steal. You cannot ma life steal past 100. percent You get you get it, sir. You get it. If you had Runans, yeah, but that is just one of your mistakes, Mr. Jolteon. Because what do you think is this, man? Do you think there's no bow here? Come on, buddy, man. What do you think? What do you think, man? But I could also go QSS. QSS is really good. Ah, Mustard, man. Oh, Guardbreaker? What about Guardbreaker? Guardbreaker sounds really odd. <laughs> Going 9? No. We're rolling here. We need to roll here. There's a Zoe if I want it. Okay, I don't need them two star. Oh, that... I mean, now it's definitely just chill with this, no? Just chill, bro. Just chill. Frick. It's okay. It's okay, just pop this. Oh, bad items. Bad item alert. Um... Do I go QSS on him? I feel like QSS is fine. And then I just go tanky on this garbage. Oh, but she doesn't even have... Uh, it's fine. She ults more often. It's, it's, okay. it's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Maybe I should have given to Nila. But Nila is not going to be 3 star this game. Again, just like I said at the start of this game, guys. I won't have a good late game. I have a good early and mid game. I will fall off in stage 6 100%. But that's okay, because I will bleed out to a 4. And that is amazing, that is awesome. I mean, don't we just roll here, because one Z... Just very simple, guys. Don't worry about it. I need one Fiora, so I can get the QSS on him. Should I just reforge this? YOLO? What happens if we do that, man? What do you think? Ah, oh, that seems like a grief. Nah, but I'm gonna get full items anyway soon. Okay, Shroud, I guess. It's fine. It's better than having these two. If I win this route because of Shroud... Nah, but didn't I win this route because of Shroud? Look, he dies before he can ult. Nah, fam. He died before he could ult. And now he just takes infinite damage. Worth. Good play. Good play. And Shroud is like a bad case scenario, right? Like, Shroud is not something where you're like, Oh, man, I wanted that Shroud. Like, I wanted a, I wanted a Z item, man. You know what I mean? And now we just get a full Z item on the carousel. I think we're playing well. Hello? And then we just go level 9. We go level 9 for... For... For hacker. F literally just for hacker, right? Nothing else.
Okie dokie. You know what? Not too bad. Sejuani with uh, Duelist ults a little bit more often, doesn't she? Attacks a little bit faster. It's not even that bad. Oh, wow. That's a crazy Viego build. Ah, uh, he can one-shot me. Can he, though? Oh, he's gonna get stunned. He's getting stunned. Oh. Oh. Nice. That's a six Renegade. Mr. Westblood. Let me check it out. Yeah, it's a six Renegade Viego. We still beat it easily. Nice. Two items dead, by the way. Oh, anything good? Oh, there's a couple good things, man. Oh, hell yeah. There's a lot of good things. I'm guaranteed to get something good. There's no way. Even Edge of Night is good for one of my other dudes. For Jazuo with Hacker. But it was taken instantaneously. Oh, hell yeah. Actually, it's probably Infinity Edge. It's probably Infinity Edge. Uh, nah, it's this. Okay, so the the reason why I was not sure was usually I like Deathblade on him more, but Infinity Edge would bounce, like, would scale with the Knife's Edge and with Titans. But Deathblade scales better with the 8 Duelist and the attack speed from Edge of Night, so... Yeah, it's it's for sure. It's for sure Death Blade. It is for surely sure Death Blade. Okay. <clears throat> is that still good? Yeah, he's amazing, man. He's amazing. Watch out for hook. Who cares about the hook, man? Who has a hook? Which little mother trucker has a hook? Where is this smelly hook? Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna just Corner the garbage dude. Nice, we're winning. We're winning. Enemy Zed is dead. Nope. He has a little bit of health left. Bro, if we win this game, it's gonna be above expectations. Because again, with Zed, you don't really expect to win, man. It's a good top 4 comp, guys. It's a very good top 4 comp. Even if you get 8 duelists, it's usually just a top 4 comp. But... Yeah, if you get a hacker emblem as well, uh, it, it looks pretty good, huh? Looks pretty freaking good, because it allows me to have the Sejuani, which tanks a lot, gives us laser core. Otherwise, I would have to have uh, a Zoe instead of this, with ha with the uh, thing. I right, just keep the positioning there. Most people are on the right side. Not too shabby, guys. Does Deathblade stack with Titan's AD? No, the, all the all the percentage AD that you see is base attack damage. So this 40% bonus attack damage is off of his base. So it is 120 is his base attack damage. At two star. And he's dead. Nice, man. Cozy duelist. Oh, man, we love the duelists. Oh, Z3? Question mark? Z3 is a guaranteed victory. Z3 would be the win condition. He is uh, five Kaisas only. That is not looking too good. That is not looking too good for him. Looking amazing for me. For sure shot. Has only one Samira. Oof. Oof, these guys are low rolling. This guy is actually kind of lucky because Ox... Oh no, he took the Aphelios of Carousel. Okay, so lost tank item for Nila. So we're looking for. I'm definitely gonna go three hacker. It's gonna be a lot better for my Yasuo as well. I mean, do I sell? I want to level up, right? Maybe I should have sold. It's fine. Uh, do we ever need this guy? No. No, we don't. A tank item? Oh, don't mind if I do. Do we, do we mind though? Do we mind if we do? What do you think, guys? Do we mind this? It's good value, but I feel like Protector's Vow, low-key. Low-key better. Protector Vow. I have so much attack speed, you know? It's too much attack speed then. <clears throat> it's too much. Protector's Vow makes her a little bit tankier. Leaves the Zed not aggroed for a longer time. And again, like, look look at this, man. I mean, 8 duelists, you don't want... Like, look at this, bro. Like, look at this dude. He's going crazy. Depends, though. If I didn't have Edge of Night augment from Wayne, 
that gives me the th starting attack speed, I would maybe go for it. Because starting attack speed is really good for duelists because it stacks it up faster then. <clears throat> Okie dokie, guys. This guy is quite strong. He has the, the everything, man. But honestly, was this the right play though, sir? I am not sure. I'm not sure if this was the right play to play. I think we're chilling, man. I think we're just chilling. Where is his hook? Didn't he have a hook? Oh no, this is not the hook guy. Yeah, whatever. Let's see what happens. Positioning doesn't matter that much because I'm just Zed Andy, you know? Like, I'm just 1v9 Zed at the end. And if he can 1v9, we win. If he can't, oh well. Oh, that's a stunned Diego. Oh, he didn't get stunned. He just brushed it off or something. Oh. That's a Zed day. So that means we can level up here. And th another guy died. The sure shot guy is super weak. Still doesn't have two star Samira, which is honestly disgusting. That's really unlucky. I'm gonna pick up a Viego here. Might just be a roll for Z3. Nah, it's probably a level up, right? But I'm not gonna level up yet. It's not on interval. It's gonna cost me 56 next turn. And we can probably beat this guy. We have 60 health. We should prioritize the money. Then if I can just... Uh, I can just make a... I could just play a fiddle as well. Nah, I'm just gonna keep the thing there. Because she's gonna shroud them. And him going here or here doesn't make a difference. Oh, he went for a 3-star Senna instead. That's why he wasn't playing the Samira. But 3-star Senna, and he just hit, right? Right before I fight him. I'm getting stunned on the Zed. I, I think I lose this fight. This Ramos is too tanky. Oh, never mind. The Zed is gonna kill Samira. Uh, Senna. Yeah. Okay, we win. Zed just 1v9s. Ramos can't uh, deal enough damage. Like, Zed lifesteals enough. Oh, he's gonna get stunned though. Doesn't matter. That's a kill. Unless it's a one shot. No, I lose. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. Okay, these guys are dying. Oh, another spatula? I'll just go for a guard breaker, I think. On Yasu, I guess. I think Yasu is my... Oh, it's actually Vayne. Uh, Vayne is doing a lot, huh? Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Alright, let's just level up here. I guess we put this. But we roll a little bit. Is it windy? It's rainy. I'm not really too interested in rainy weather. Aphelios. Who gets this, man? Is it Vayne? Vayne is just because she stayed alive. I think I'm gonna give it to him. He's actually stronger, no cap. This guy repositioned. He can beat me. His ghost beat me, so he should be able to beat me here. Oh, but that Sejuani ult is much better than last fight. Oh. His Senna is dead again. Oh, this time I have much more people alive. But this guy is alive still. So he's gonna CC my Zed. He gives him a tear. Nah, I'm, I'm, I lose. I lose this guy. Okay, we lose to this guy. His, his Ramos is really strong. I don't have a Last Whisper. That is the issue. Maybe we have to... Uh, okay, let's just collect some money here right now. Maybe we have to go for some 3 stars. The Vein isn't gonna do that much, I feel like. Maybe we have to go for some 3 stars. I mean, a Fiddle would do a lot against that guy. A Fiddle would do a whole ton against that guy. I'm just gonna not do anything. Let's see where that Zephyr... He's gonna... I feel like he's gonna shift the Zephyr. No, he does focus the, the girl. I think he can't beat me. I think this guy just can't beat me. Just can't burst my Zed down. Oh, Renegade. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Almost, man. The Ox Force almost saved him. I'm gonna sell this. No diff. 
Okay, we probably... Hmm, what should we do, man? Let's think about it. Let's think about it. We could go for Hacker. Would give me more lifesteal. Would actually do a lot. I know he has the Sunfire on Ramos. That's the thing, but it's fine. And then we ditch this. Ditch this. Go back to 6 Duelist. And then just get an Aphelios in there as well. For Ox Force. And for some CC. Or just a Fiddle. Honestly, just a Fiddle. Yeah. Maybe 4 Hacker and a Fiddle. Let's pick up the Zoe's. I'm definitely gonna roll here though. Because stage 7 is a lot of damage. Can't just... Can't afford to not roll here. Okay, maybe we could 3-star her. I mean, I really want Fiddle, right? Okay, there's the Fiddle. Has there been a Zoe? I feel like there still wasn't a Zoe, right? There's another Fiddle. I'll just take the Edge of Night on her. Right, we don't need this. Honestly, Z3 is not going to be hit. Fiddle 2 should do the trick. Maybe I can win this one. With Edge of Night, Vayne. Oh, now he's going to kill this guy. Okay, I, I think I won. Oh, yeah, GG. <laughs> okay, whatever. The fight was lucky, I guess. We'll take it. <laughs> Alright, so I, I'm pretty sure just Fiddle 2 and 4 Hacker does the trick. Oh well, GG well played. This is what I keep telling you guys. If you play very aggressive early game, the early game comps like Duelist are so strong. Oftentimes you can win, even if you get outscaled like I did by this guy. He's at 8 HP, I was at 60. He has to beat me like 4 times, I have to beat him once. Just one random fight, I beat him and I get, an, I, I get a victory without even thinking at the end. Sure. Probably I would win with 2-star Fiddle anyway and a Zoe there uh, for 4 hackers so I don't get out-sustained by this um, Bramble Vest or out-damaged by the Bramble Vest more than I can heal. But it's just ridiculous, right? Play aggressive early game, guys. It is so, so important. Um, just a very aggressive meta. Anyway, guys, hey, subscribe and notification bell if you enjoy these TFT videos. Also, make sure to leave an algorithmic comment and an algorithmic like down below to support this video in the YouTube algorithm so I can get some more views and I'll see you next time. Peace.